I am Thomas Livingston Mitchell, Surveyor General for the Colony of New South Wales, and this is my diary entry for September the 30th, 1836, as I explore land towards the new settlement of Port Phillip. I have earlier today crossed a fine river and are now about to climb a significant mountain in the hope of having views to the new settlement named after Lord Melbourne. The trees on the side of the mountain are of a much grander character than those in the forests and consisted principally of black butt and blue gum eucalypti measuring from six to eight feet in diameter. The rock was cyanite, so weathered as to resemble sandstone. I ascended without having been obliged to alight from my horse, and I found the summit was spacious, being covered towards the south with tree ferns, and musk plant grew in great luxuriance. The summit was full of wombat holes, and unlike the side by which I had ascended, it was covered with the dead trunks of enormous trees in all stages of decay. I had two important objects in view in ascending this hill, one being to determine its position trigonometrically as a point likely to be seen from the country to which I was going where it might be useful to me in fixing other points, the other to obtain a view of Port Phillip and thus connect my survey with that harbour. But the tree ferns, musk plant, brush and lofty timber together shut us up for a long time from any prospect of the low country to the southward. And it was not until I had nearly exhausted a fine sunny afternoon wandering around the broad summit that I could distinguish and recognise some of the hills to the westward. And then I at length obtained a glimpse of the country towards the coast. Thus the mountain on which I stood became an important point in my survey and I gave it the name of Mount Macedon with reference to that of Port Phillip. We have at length discovered a country ready for immediate reception of civilised man and destined perhaps to become, eventually, a great empire. Of this Eden, I was the first European to explore its mountains and streams, to behold its scenery, to investigate its geographical character, and by my survey to develop those natural advantages, certain to become at no distant date, of vast importance to new people. <laughs> 